it's Remy. Welcome back to my channel. So today, welcome to this part of the office slash new filming setup. We are on my couch. I love this. I am so comfortable right now. So before we start today's video, I just want to say a huge thank you to Poshmark for sponsoring this because I live, love, laugh Poshmark. If you guys have never heard of Poshmark, it is this incredible app that you can use to buy and sell your clothes. It's seriously amazing. If you know me, first of all, I've got a bit of a shopping problem. Second of all, I'm always getting new clothes all the time. And also with my health journey, I have a lot of clothes that don't fit me anymore. So I've been using Poshmark for years now and it's a great way for me to sell my clothes on there to you guys or to whoever wants to buy them. And also I have bought so many things from other people on Poshmark. I actually have a little backpack coming in the mail right now, which I am so excited about. So yeah, basically on my personal Poshmark account, I pretty much am always just selling different clothes and things like that that I am not wearing as much anymore. And I wanted to show you guys a few pieces that I have listed right now that you can pick up if you would like. We've got a little pre-haul to our actual haul. One of the pieces I have listed on there is this really cute leather jacket, which I love so much. It's light gray. It's perfect for the winter time right now. And you can grab that on there. I've also got this adorable slip dress here, which is brand new still. The tags are on, and I was planning on wearing this to an event, but I never got around to it. It is so pretty. It's got this cute little lace detailing at the bottom, and it'd be so cute with like a little fur coat or something. Next up, we have this top here, which has been so well loved by me. I put it on Instagram a billion times. It's this cute pink shirt from Victoria's Secret Pink. Well, it's actually a blue shirt from Victoria's Secret Pink. And last but not least for the stuff I'm gonna show you today, I have this adorable fuzzy jacket coat thing. The whole teddy bear coat trend is so big right now, but I like this because it's thinner, it's not too thick, and it's like really slouchy like a cardigan. It's not too thick like those big jackets right now. So if you guys are interested in picking up any of the clothing pieces I just showed you or anything else that is possibly on my Poshmark closet, then be sure to click the link in the description. From there, you can download Poshmark and start shopping. Okay, so in today's video, I thought it would be really fun to do some online shopping from a store that I have never shopped from before. It is very big on Instagram, on YouTube, pretty much everywhere I see it. It is called Fashion Nova, and I know I hear Cardi rap about it, I hear Kylie, or I see Kylie, posts about it all the time. So much to the point that when I went on the site, they actually have a whole section devoted to just clothes that Kylie has worn on her own Instagram promoting Fashion Nova. So I thought today it'd be fun to do a video where we pretty much buy Kylie Jenner's wardrobe and try it on for you and test it out. I'm not expecting the quality to be very good, but you know, you don't know until you try. So bring in the box. Thank you, sir. We've got, oh very, oh my God, it's heavy. All right, first up, when we buy Kylie Jenner's wardrobe, we need to obviously unbox it and open it up and uh, see what we've got. So I love this giant box over here. Covered up my address so no one will kill me. First up, I see something purple. I don't know what this is. A one shoulder purple, like fuzzy dress thing. Next up, she was featured wearing this pair of jeans. They are like high-waisted, Classic high waist skinny jeans. They're very stretchy, we will see, but she wore these with like a pink sweater, I think, in her picture. Is it on here? Did I get a pink sweater? Found her! Okay, so in the picture she was wearing this fuzzy pink top thing. I don't know, so far the quality's not too bad. We'll move through this faster. I picked up, oh, I just needed these. I needed some basics and figured I'd try them out. Just a little white tube top. I got it in black, I got it in white. That's just for me. Oh my gosh, I've seen her wear this dress all the time. It's super cute, it looks like this. I actually have this from a couple of, wow, actually I have this from a couple other companies, but this is better quality than the other ones I've gotten. This actually has like an inner lining in there, which is nice, so I'm curious to see how this looks, but she wore this like oatmeal colored one. We got some shoes here, what did I get? I don't even remember. Oh, I just really liked these and they were on sale. I got these fun shoes. I love this style shoe because it doesn't make my feet hurt. They're like platforms and like a fake velvet and these are in green and then I also got them in blue. We can try all these on later, but here we go. <gasps> I love this color. And I think they were like $26. You know, not the cheapest shoes ever, but for like a cute pair of like fun party heels, not bad. Moving on, we got something that looks, oh yes. I saw Kylie wore this. It was like a little set. They're like little joggers, which I have thunder thighs, everybody. They are massive, and so joggers look awful on me, but I wanted to try them for you. But I got the bottoms, and then it has a matching top. The top, oh, this is cute. It looks like this. It's got a little built-in hood. I would totally wear this with like leggings or something normally. I can already almost guarantee I'm not gonna like these pants, but wishful thinking. What are these? Oh, I wanted to try out some of their workout apparel because 
as you can see, I pretty much only wear workout apparel. Who was this? So I got a pair of their high-waisted leggings, which I am very, very particular about my workout clothes. I'm not crazy about this material, but I thought it was interesting because there's like ruching up on the top of the butt, which is literally like they said that these are supposed to make your butt look better. I got this sports bra that has the thinnest straps I've ever seen, and they're just like two thin straps with even thinner little like strings holding it together. I do not see this being supportive whatsoever. I got this dress here, which I was shook, you guys, because I went on the site, and there were so many dresses on there that I already own from like nicer companies that are like five times the price. And this is a dress that I really wanted to get from House of CB, but they've been sold out for like months and months and months. I am literally on the waiting list, but they had it for a fraction of the cost. I can already tell this quality is not nearly as good as House of CB, which is why this was $44.99 instead of like $300. I got something white and fluffy. It looks like a marshmallow. I got, oh, this is a dress that's like fuzzy. What's up with Kylie and her fuzzy material? And there's like a stomach cutout and it's got these like tank top straps, like a racer back kind of thing. I don't like this, <laughs> whoops. Be sure to check that one out on my Poshmark coming soon. <laughs> I'm sure it would look great on a lot of people. It's just, I don't like my arms, so I feel like it's just gonna not look good. Next up, this I oh, there's shoulder pads, you guys. Kylie apparently wore this dress to, I think it was her birthday party. I think it was her 20, did she just turn 21? Some birthday party, she wore a Fashion Nova dress, which I don't know. They claim that this is the exact dress she wore to her birthday party, so I was like, uh, yeah, I wanna try it on. Shoulder pads and all, this was $59.99, which is like actually not cheap. Even like Forever 21, all their prices are going up, but it is a nice soft material. It's stretchier than I thought it was gonna be, kind of spandexy. And I like that there's a sheen to it. What are you? Oh, cool. I got these vinyl pants because it's, it's my, mm -hmm. basically they're like pleather pants. They're like plasticky. Oh my God, they look stuck together. Flair. Oh my God, it smells like fish bait. I just almost gagged. I just almost gagged. Where's my phone? My alarm's going off. Oh, matter. And last but not least, I wanted to pick up a couple of their like nicer gowns. Hold on. I wanted to pick up a couple of their like nicer gowns just to try on because maybe if you're going to prom or homecoming or something and you don't want to spend too much money on a dress that you're only going to wear once. My prom dress was like $400 and I never wore it again. I actually did sell it on Poshmark though after high school. But if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, I thought that I would try these. So this one's really pretty. It's burgundy. And then this one, it looks like this. It's covered in silver sequins. It's actually like pretty well made. Wow, I'm actually very impressed. It's a long gown. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how all this looks on me. So let's get to trying it all on. All right, guys, we have the first dress here, which I, I've never been a fan of one shoulder or anything in my life. This just feels kind of wrong. Like this arm's a little cold, this arm's a little warm. Overall, I think it's actually kind of cute on. I like the material, it's very like soft. I just want to like touch myself all over, touch my body. Yeah, I don't hate it, but um, I don't think I would necessarily reach for this. I, again, I'm just not really into the one shoulder. Like I would rather have it be like a tube top or be both arms, but yes. Look number one. Oh! Ooh! Oh my god! I could buy designer, but this fashion never fit. Oh, Next up, guys, we got this dress, which I have already, as I said, I think literally in this color, but this has an extra like lining. I don't want to flash anyone. This has an extra lining underneath, which my other ones don't, and they were same price. I think maybe even more expensive, but the lining makes a huge difference. I feel like the quality is just so much better. I love this dress. I have it in like green, pink, this color. This one I think is totally, totally worth the money. I love this. Yes. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh. All right, here we are trying on the 21st birthday dress. There's a bunch of just extra fabric here. I don't know what to do with it. We Googled her picture and it doesn't even look like she's wearing this dress, to be honest. I'm just gonna tie it in a bow in the back and hope for the best. I mean, maybe I could cut it out and then maybe I could do that. What is, like, what is this? I don't understand. I mean, I think it's okay. I'm not in love with it. I don't really like these shoulder pads, but I feel like, you know, I could like play football or something. Oh, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. I look like a Teletubby. Oh no. Pause for sirens. 
Like, you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like, you know I'm not happy. You know I'm trying. All right, next up, we have the outfit that I was a little nervous of, but I was correct. These uh, weird sweatpant things are very tight on my legs, but they are very comfortable. I don't know how they make my butt look. I can't see anything, but they are very comfortable. Like, I'm gonna keep them and definitely wear them in my house. They will not be seeing the public. But I really do like the top. I like the little, like, hood that's attached to it. It's actually really soft and, like, a nice material. But yeah, the pants, you know, what the pants like waistband is actually like nice but again just like not a fan of these pants together but if you've got small legs i don't know why i'm doing that maybe you'll like them i feel like they're gonna be oh my god they're so soft oh wow i actually like this this is cute i would wear this next up this outfit is oh there's no pockets uh take off five points this is the exact outfit that kylie wore in an instagram picture it was this oh and she had that little purse too. It's the purple dress, but in the pink sweater top version. Hers was a lot more cropped on hers. I have a very short body though, so maybe that's why. But the jeans are actually like pretty comfortable. They're very high-waisted, which I like. I think a size seven was pretty good for me. I actually really like this outfit. I would definitely wear it with like some like <gasps> some taupey knee-high boots. I think that'd be super cute. But I kind of like the look together. So yay! And the jeans, oh the jeans have back pockets. They're not bad. All right, marshmallow here. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was good. It's not that bad, right? It's not the worst dress ever. There's like a weird little tummy slit here and then the arms are like tank top, but I actually don't hate it. It's actually, this material is really soft. I think out of the three, I like the pink top the most and then the purple dress and then this last, but I don't hate this. Like I probably actually will wear this and then sell it on Poshmark. I look like I'm ready for my colonial dinner. It's not as cute or well made as the really expensive one that I've been really wanting would be, I'm guessing. There is no zipper. I had to individually do each little hook, so it took me some time, but you know, I finally got the dress that I've been wanting forever and I paid like a sixth of the price, so two thumbs up. Next up, we've got my favorite clothing ever, which is workout apparel. So I tried on this sports bra. It's not really supportive. I like the color blocking between the nude and the black and then the yoga pants or the leggings. They're a little on the thin side. I don't mind them as much actually on versus when I was just feeling them earlier. I don't know if this even makes my butt look different at all, but the ruching, the ruching is like a little high. I don't know if maybe I'm just wearing them like too high because again, short. But overall, it's like a pretty cute outfit and it wasn't too expensive. So if you're looking for cuter workout apparel, that's not too expensive. I feel like this is a good option. I love Fabletics. I love Target. Get Love Forever 21. Those are all really good options if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, but yes. All right, last but not least, we have our evening gowns. I've got this maroon dress on first. I really like it. I like that it's stretchy. I could probably do the split. There are slits on the side so people can see your heels if you wear them underneath. The actual like gems on there are pretty cute and I feel like, I don't know if they fall off. I don't want to pick them off, but I feel like they're actually like semi-decently on there. And best of all, the straps are adjustable. So if you need them to be shorter, to hike the girls up or to hold your girls in, you have that option. But I feel like this would be really great for, you know, a prom dress, a homecoming dress or something at a pretty good price. And the grand finale, we have the sequin dress. This is actually so pretty. It's really, really, really long. So if you are short, you're definitely gonna have to get it hemmed or tailored, but I really like it. I like the style. I feel like it's a simple cut and like style for how crazy all the sequins are, but I feel like a trophy, a silver trophy. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to go click the link down below in the description to download Poshmark and start shopping or selling on there today. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.